So here we have two magnificently attired people. Uh, I believe uh, this is uh, Renaissance period stuff. Is it German? Yes. Yes. It's the German uh, Landsknecht. Uh, right. Uh, 16th century. Mm -hmm. um, so he, he's a Landsknecht, and I am I am Trostrau. This is a Trostrau, which the, usually the wives or the women that were with the Landsknechts. The Landsknechts were mercenary footmen, mainly based in Germany, who gained a substantial reputation in the 16th century. The Tross were the people of the baggage train, who included wives and children, as well as some skilled craftsmen. The Landsknechts were one of the, well, the most vulgar uh, dresses that you could have at the time. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy, happy to hear you use the word vulgar. <laughs> you've got a lot of slashed cloth here, where yeah. you've just cut through, there's no no stitching to hold the end, to stop it tearing, no hemming, uh, nothing. Um, and do you not find, like for instance, if I might just show the back panel of your dress, does it not rip? When you do it in wool, it mm -hmm. stays. Right. Uh, it's worse if you're doing it in uh, linen, because linen is small, this thin threads so that they, they thread in. Right, I suppose, a bit like you can make felt out of wool, it's a wool that naturally grabs on onto itself. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose it, uh, the slashing works better in wool. Yeah. And uh, I, I really can't, uh, I can't just not do, do excuse me, sir. <laughs> but that, that is um, a cod positively piece. lewd, uh, not just an <laughs> enormous cod piece. It um, it, uh, have, have you gone for the, the, the biggest that authenticity oh, allows? No, no, no. This no? is actually a quite modest cod piece by cod piece. Sorry, th this is modest. This is modest. Everyone, modest. That you, yeah, modest. That's modest. Yeah. Mod okay, this is modest, uh, right? So now we know everyone what modesty looks like in. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. In uh, Renaissance period Germany. Yeah. There is actually from Sweden a letter from a businessman in the 16th century. Mm -hmm. uh, he wants one of these new awesome uh, uh, garments. Yes. Uh, and he orders one that is one and a half aln long. Uh, one like aln is one... Uh, like a, like a cubit? Yeah. Right. So it's, it's one and a half, like so about 70 centimeters long. And did he think he was going to be fooling anybody? I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's as much as compensation as anything. <laughs> Some people were complaining about this new German fashion. Right. Because this cod piece was like in the way when they were trying to have the dinner. So you can imagine how... It, it's, how it's no deep. joke, it's so, actually real. Right, so you get, you, get, you get food and stuff dropped in it after a while. And just, <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Some but, people actually have wine in the codpiece. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, right, so it's a handy storage they have vessel. This, yeah. uh, wine bag that you have in the bag in box. Right. That little, the little bag, they put it in the codpiece. Uh huh. So you put the tap like here. Small tap, like here. Turn it on and off. Yeah. <laughs> so that is a modern cod. Okay, right. No, fair enough. <laughs> but I see that you have your hair very yeah. modestly covered, and yeah. yet at the same time, the back of your neck and upper back quite exposed. Yes, uh, that, that's very funny because usually in all history mm -hmm. the most important thing was to cover your hair as a woman, especially a married woman, mm -hmm. to yes. cover their hair. Uh, usually, uh, actually Germans they actually have braids sometimes, usually they have mm -hmm. braids coming out. Yeah. Uh, but I keep it all up. Uh, this uh, is actually some some people were like exposing this part. Yeah, I... uh, ne never the arms, of course, but this was okay apparently. Uh, but usually they have it really high up in the neck. Oh, right. Up here, so it's covering everything except for the face. Okay, so it would, would it be a, bit, a be a particular kind of woman who exposed quite so much of her neck? <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. I don't think so. I think it's more a uh, thing about uh, weather, whether it's cold or hot. Warm. Some of our viewers may be worried, madam, that it, it, your belt might not be long enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, that's again purely a fashion statement. It, it looks as though it would wrap around you two or three times quite happily. Yeah, I could have it like three times around, mm -hmm. but, I, but I let it loose so I can fix this. I can afford to buy this ridiculously long belt, even if I don't need that long mm -hmm. belt. And you could, you could, you could whip stray dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can whip my man if I want. To. Oh. <laughs> Is that true? Uh, well, she could, but uh, I run faster than her. I'm not big. <laughs> German women were supposed to be really big in their outfits. Big oh right. Hips, big breasts, like all. Oh. 
Okay, buxom, I think is yeah. a word. <laughs> I see on your shoulder here you have um, aglets, the little, uh, I think these ones are brass. So those unlace and then you can... Yeah, then I can make this into a vest instead right? of a jacket. Uh, and I have those, well, practically everywhere, so I can mm -hmm. modify my outfit yep. however I want it. So if you need to go for a pee, how much do you have to untie? Basically just this single one, and I can just whip it. No need to demonstrate, <laughs> sir. But, uh... So it's very, it's very, very handy if you want to, well, if you're in a hurry. Yes. <laughs> okay. But you have to go a little, a little further for the, for, for, uh, the, the, the rear exit. Yeah, then it's basically uh, uh, all the belts. Yeah. The small belt and this big belt, and you just drop it. <laughs> right. That top belt doesn't look particularly comfortable. Is it alright? Yeah, it's okay. I mean, it carries all the basically all the weight. But yeah. Wouldn't it be more comfy if it were broader? Yeah, maybe, but this was the fashion at that time. Broad mm -hmm. belts weren't very fashionable at that time. You have at very rakish angles on your heads. <laughs> These, uh, I, I can't really call it a hat, it's just an enormous decorative thing yeah. Yeah. pinned to the it's side just, of your head. Yeah, it's just bragging. Yeah. The thing about Germans is that they like to brag about yeah. the fabric. The, so the bigger hat, the mm -hmm. more fabric you, you could buy mm -hmm. and use. Mm -hmm. uh, and the more you could destroy your fabric, like on him, the more you could destroy it like this, mm -hmm. the richer you were. Yes, yeah, so you've got, you got very, very thick covering of fabric in places, yes. mm -hmm. and then suddenly it goes to nothing. Like in parts like the bit of thigh showing here, yeah. Yeah. or is this nothing can, at all? Yeah. And I can, if I want to, mm -hmm. I can just uh, uh, untie these and make them uh, small shorts. <laughs> right. If I want to be even more uh, show off with my skinny parts. Yeah. Right. So, so, <laughs> okay. So to recap, then uh, this is modest, yes. and this is what you look like when you're not showing off. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just, just so I've got that straight. Is that ostrich? Yes, it's ostrich. Right. So that would have been very expensive, surely, at the yes. time. Yeah. It's all about the expensive. We have, we have never found colors, but not in if, this, if it was, uh, under if it was white, mm -hmm. this white then you could afford bleaching it that that was one that thing. was very expensive you could bleach the fabric right uh, so some have this unbleached linen uh, which was less expensive because right and that it was that it was white showed that it was clean which meant mm -hmm. that you could afford to keep it clean yeah or you weren't doing dirty work mm -hmm. precisely although it is true that even for their time the Lanschnecks were ostentatiously dressed they do still powerfully illustrate the lie that hollywood sells us that everyone in the past wore brown in fact the civilized peoples of the past were more colorfully clad than modern crowds amazing fashion, mm -hmm. the German fashion. Yeah. And it was copied in Sweden at the time, was it? Uh, yeah, uh, for those who could afford it. Right. In Sweden, uh, most of the uh, population did, couldn't afford that much. Uh, and those who became soldiers traveled abroad and picked up the fashion. Right. But they usually stayed abroad. I've been abroad and I've come back looking like this. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you wouldn't carry on wearing it for all that much longer if, uh, if you were the only one. What's this uh, about naked tourists, you, you were saying? <laughs> well, it, it, it's more about, um, uh, we have this expression yes. uh, around historical people uh, that we, and we say, uh, that we say that if you're wearing normal clothes, mm -hmm. like t-shirts, modern, yeah. Yeah, yeah. modern clothes, you're naked. Right. So if I were to come tomorrow in my normal clothes mm -hmm. to my friends, they would ask, why are you naked today? Some why aren't you wearing any clothes? Yeah. <laughs> right. They might so, be stunned much it. by it. <laughs> so, so loads of these tourists, they're all naked. All naked. But they don't, don't tell them, but okay. they're all naked. I don't know. <laughs>